Welcome to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of the channel. I'm leaving the link in the description below. If you like the content of my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm aiming to publish two weekly tutorials. Now let's dive into the lesson. Today I want to show you the sixth chord progression, the one using first, fourth, fifth and sixth. If you have watched already all the previous videos, you know everything about it. I have to write it down for you. Obviously I invite you to um, watch the videos where I explain pretty much about this method that I am explaining and sharing. So today obviously it's time after having twice the fourth here, twice the fifth. Today I confirm again the sixth at the second place, as the second chord, and I invest the remaining two. If I'm using first and sixth, obviously what is left is four and five, but I'm not using them anymore in this order, but I'm doing the inversion. You see, fifth year and fourth year. So today we can finally understand and visualize clearly what I meant. At the beginning we had first, so these are the four chords in the normal order, first, fourth, fifth and sixth. I used them as they are. I confirmed this one and I inverted this one. The fifth came here and the sixth went there. Then I took the fifth and I placed it here twice. And I've used obviously the remaining two that were fourth and sixth. The, second the following time I've used the sixth year and the fourth year. And then I've done the same thing now. Since I've used twice the fourth, twice, twice the fifth year, I've used twice the sixth. I placed it here twice. And the remaining ones were the fourth and the fifth, the fourth and the fifth. And obviously today I'm inverting them. And this is the reason why I said that using four chords you can generate 24 combinations because what we have done today will be done again. Now I will keep in the following six tutorials the fourth year and I will move the other ones. And then I will do the same keeping the fifth year for six times and moving the other ones. And then the very last one will be with the sixth at the beginning. The principle applied is the same identical one. The one where I confirm the notes that two consecutive chords have in common. We have learned that when we jump of fourth or fifth, we have just one note in common. We have learned that when we jump of third, either down or up, we have two notes in common. When we move to the consecutive note, so uh, the interval of second, either up or down, the two chords have nothing in common. Now, moving from the first to the sixth, obviously I have two notes in common. I start anyways from the C major in root position, we are working C major, and I do. Now, from the 6th, I have to go to the 5th, as you can see here. Isn't it? 6th to the 5th. As we said, 5th and 6th have nothing in common because this is a consecutive chord. You see, A minor and G major, they have nothing in common. So it was here, I'm applying the contrary motion. Bass goes down, right hand goes up. And this is the new position I'm taking. But now, since I'm moving from 5th to 4th, the 5th is going down again. Even though I said that in classical music, what I'm going to show you wasn't done. I am obviously treating this matter now from a much more popish way, much more contemporary, where even the move fifth, fourth is used and is welcomed by the contemporary humanity. <laughs> so, if the fifth was here, the fourth obviously is underneath, goes to the left of the bass, the right will go up. And this is what happened. I play now the whole one. nice with a little bit of uh, anticipated rhythms or syncopated rhythms. Now I can do the same starting from the first inversion. The first was the start of the first was in root position of first inversion. We do. Let's analyze from the C A minor. I'm keeping E and C and moving up simply the G to the A. Then contrary motion, looking for the closest position to the right. And then contrary motion again, looking for the following F major position. Quite nice this one. And now from the second inversion, that maybe I move here to let you see much more and to help the camera. So from the second inversion in the right, I do. Quite nice also this one, isn't it? So we do. E and C, and we move up to the G to the A, then I do. 
contrary motion and even more. I do it again. Obviously to make it easy you can keep the same identical position on the left because obviously the notes of the bass are within the range of the five fingers, yeah? Okay? I hope you have appreciated also this video that you are applying this method, that you are enjoying it and you are developing your songs, that you are discovering which ones are the songs using these patterns, these chord progressions, because indeed one of the things that I started asking at the very beginning of this new project was the one of looking for the songs or the piano pieces using these chords in this order and to make a list. Obviously you are more than welcome to comment and to let me know if you found the songs using these chords or if you are composing, writing your own songs or piano pieces. If it's the first time you are landing on my channel thanks to this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. All the best.